Welcome back everyone, hope we are well. So we are going to review another Seiko in this video today. But again, before we start with the review, if you like this channel and like my videos, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. It really encourages me to keep making these videos for you and it really, really helps in keeping this channel alive. So, if you are watching my videos unsubscribe, please take this opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get straight into the review and have a closer look at this very nice looking field watch from Seiko. Um, so this is the reference number for the watch that I have here with me today. I paid 99 Australian dollars for this watch on Amazon Australia and it offers exceptional value for that amount of money. I'll quickly kick it off with the uh, dimensions that I measured on this case. So I measured the case at 37.2 millimeters across. Lug to lug distance was around 42.9 millimeters. Lug width is 18 millimeters and the case thickness is 10.6 millimeters. Now you can see there's a bit of a bump on the case back. So that adds to the, uh, the overall thickness of the case as well. Looking at the, uh, the case itself, we have a we have Seiko's Hardlex crystal on the top. Now there's not a lot of anti-reflective coating on this um, on this Hardlex crystal, but again at this price point I'm not going to complain about not having sufficient uh, anti-reflective coating on this glass. We have a blasted stainless steel case which has this um, matte look all around on the sides. Um, on the bezel and on the lugs as well, including this unsigned crown, um, which is um, at four o'clock in a very typical Seiko 5 way. We do have polished look between um, the uh, between the lugs. Um, I would have loved to have that matte look follow through to this part of the case as well, but Seiko decided to go with the polished look, and we do have the uh, the polished look uh, on the case back and at the bottom of the uh, the lugs as well i really really like the uh, the legibility of this dial now you can have this watch uh, in other colors as well you can have a blue dial you can have a green dial and i think there's a cream option as well i chose to go for this uh, combination of black and white because it looked uh, most uh, legible to me and i really like this combination now there's nothing wrong with having um, the other uh, color combinations as well it was just a personal uh, choice for, for me uh, looking at the uh, dial, we have a minute track that runs around the outer ring. We have Seiko applied just underneath 12 o'clock and that Seiko 5 logo underneath Seiko. We have automatic 21 joules just above 6 o'clock and the day and date function at 3 o'clock. Stating the day and date um, and the time on this watch is quite simple and straightforward. We have a pull and push crown. You push the crown, oh sorry, you pull the crown out to uh, position one, rotate the crown in a clockwise position, and you will be able to change the date. Rotate the crown in an anti-clockwise position, and you'll be able to set the uh, the day on this watch. Pull the crown out further to its final position, and you will be able to change or set the time. On this watch so yeah quite straightforward and we do have uh, luminous hands and there are luminous uh, dots around the um, around the dial as well let's do a quick loom check as well while we are at it the loom is not the strongest of looms out there uh, but I think it still uh, does the job really really nicely nothing wrong with the uh, the quality of the loom as well and it is Seiko's loom so it will last forever so here we go not bad at all I mean I've seen worse loom uh, on watches with which cost um, way more than um, way more than what I've paid for this uh, particular timepiece so um, I have no complaints at all uh, about the loom on this watch again quite legible so no problems there. As I said, it's not the strongest of looms out there, but I think it does the job really, really well. All right, let's uh, turn the lights back on again so we can carry on with the uh, rest of our review. Okay, let's have a quick look at the case back as well. We do have an open case back. So 
here we go we have an open case back this watch has Seiko's S oh sorry 7s26 automatic movement uh, I think it was introduced by Seiko in around 1996 it is it has been widely used by Seiko in a number of their watches over the years um, very basic movement nothing special about it um, but it does the job uh, really really well uh, talking about the movement itself uh, has 21,600 beats per hour 21 joules no hacking or hand winding uh, on this movement I think it offers around 41 hours of uh, power reserve so um, yeah really basic when we talk about the numbers but again for $99 we have an automatic movement from a known brand I mean you definitely can't ask for more and in and a, and a market which is mainly dominated by quartz watches under a hundred bucks um, we have um, this from Seiko it's unbelievable unreal value um, at this price point we have 30 hour, 30 meters of water resistance now I know it doesn't sound much but I've heard people doing all sorts of water activities uh, with this watch they've gone uh, swimming snorkeling without damaging their watch so um, I mean it's not um, it's not recommended um, at uh, 30 meters of water resistance but again what I've heard and the feedback that I've received about this watch um, crazy people have had no complaints about um, going swimming or snorkeling uh, with this watch at all it is a rugged watch I mean it will do the job um, and um, for 99 bucks again it does offer exceptional value you can have this watch with a stainless steel bracelet as well I decided to go for uh, this nylon option it is again very reasonable um, strap I've, I've got no complaints about it I've heard people complaining about the, the quality of the strap it's too stiff too hard but I think with time it will uh, soften out and again I've got no complaints about the strap we do have uh, reinforced leather uh, holes and um, it is it is reasonably comfortable as well it may not have, as I said I've got no complaints I'm not going to complain about not having a top quality strap uh, when I'm only paying $99 uh, for a watch um, we have two uh, keepers again that blasted stainless steel um, look and the matte look follows through to the uh, keepers as well and then we have the same look on this um, signed buckle as well so um, yeah that's the um, that's the strap for you again I really like the uh, the legibility of this dial it's a beautiful looking dial I really like that red tip on the uh, seconds hand as well it matches really nicely with uh, with the uh, with the day Sunday as you can see in the video now so uh, really really nice looking thing and really nice offering from Seiko at that price point as well I'll give you a quick wrist shot as well I've got a 7 inch wrist and um, it, it looks really nice it stacks up really nice um, on my uh, on my wrist so here we go again there is a bit of a, um, a bump uh, as I showed earlier in the video as well on the case pack so that gives you kind of a high profile on your wrist but the smaller um, case on this watch really helps in sort of reducing that that bump uh, on the case back and um, yeah a very nice looking watch and for the amount of money uh, that you're looking at paying for this I think it, it, it outweighs um, any in, um, any negatives that you can come up with I look as I said I'm, I'm not going to focus on the negatives on this watch anyway because they're more positive and positives definitely outweigh the negatives on this watch so um, here you go final look really nice looking thing thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this review and, and the video I'll see you with my next video shortly until then stay safe and look after one another thank you very much for watching again